This has been another episode of self advocacy in Action TV show. I am your host, Angelique Everett. I am drilled to be interviewing my dear friend and special guest, Gwen Shire. She is an advocate, host for self advocacy in Action TV show, and multiple self advocacy groups as well, just like this one. Hello, Gwen. Hey, Angelique, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. So tell me about yourself. Um, currently, I'm working for People Incorporated as a advocate support staff, and Rick Banner is my supervisor. So, and I've been there for three years now, just celebrated oh. the anniversary in November. I actually, I actually love him, but oh, I didn't know that. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so, what is this self advocacy group about? Which self advocacy? Uh, mo- uh, moving on up. That oh, moving on up. Oh, yeah, yeah. You do? Okay. Um, well, what we do with that group is I just became the permanent advisor for it now, um, at least for now. Rick um, used to be the advisor, but um, we um, talk about, get together and talk about issues about living on your own, you know, and what that's like. And like, if there's a new member, we talk about, you know, what steps they could take to get to moving on their own. Like step one, you need to find a place. Step two, you know, what you need to do. Like maybe you need to learn to take your meds on time or something, you know, we talk about stuff like that. Oh, okay. Uh, any, anything else like like moving like moving out to like their to like their uh, apartment or whatever? Anything else you said? You you know, like uh, uh, yeah yeah. Well, since it's called moving on up, I thought probably uh, they got something to do with helping them to move to their own place. We help people look in like the paper and stuff like that. Yes, oh. and we can help them. And we can help them um, connect to different organizations that could help them look for an apartment or pay for it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, how, how did you get started with the group? With the group? Um, it was already started when I took over as the advisor. Um, I believe Rick was the advisor in the beginning with Banner. Um, and then um, I can't remember who was before me, if it was Rick or somebody else. But anyway, um, I believe they got started because, you know, there was an interest in getting together and having people not feel like they were alone with not knowing how to, like what steps to take to moving on their own, you know, and what to do when they wanted to live on their own. Some people are afraid to take that very first step. I know I sure was. I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't 52 years old, I think when I moved out on my own finally. So, and a lot of it had to do with um, uncertainties, you know, like what to expect and what I should do first dealing with mom and dad and their reaction to me wanting to live on my own because I have a disability obviously and they didn't want me to do that because I was their baby and I had a disability you know but when they passed away um I thought it was time to give it a try so that's kind of the things we talk about and we deal with in the group people's you know emotions and people's you know uncertainties and stuff so where can we find you um, right now, currently, we're on Zoom. We have a link, and I could send it to whoever's interested. I believe it's the third um, Tuesday of the month. Uh, so, do you know if you got the um, social media? The social media? Yes. Like, is um, your group on social media? That's, well, that's what I'm asking. I'm sorry, say that again, Angelique. Oh, <clears throat> Yeah. No, I was asking, is your group on social media? Oh, yeah, it's on Facebook. Oh, we have oh, a Facebook okay. page. Yeah, so actually, you guys could look on there. Whoever want, is interested could look on there. And I bet your Rick's already updated it. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it had to be very clearly. Sorry about that. I wasn't that clear yes. before. Right. Um, so what is your account? Yeah. What is your accomplishment that you are most proud of? Probably getting my master's degree. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, when I was growing up, my family was told, you know, I was adopted, but they were told that, um, you know, Gwen's not going to be able to go to high school. She's never going to be able to do this, learn how to drive or do any of those things because of her disability. Well, I accomplished those things anyway. I'm one of those people, if you tell me I can't do something because of my disability, 
I'm like, yeah, watch me and I'll do it. It might take me some time, but I'll do it. So I'm, I'm probably, that's probably the most, the thing I'm most proud of. Oh, okay. And I, I, ne- I never, like I said, that, and that is interesting. Now, now I never knew that you'd go for your masters. Mm-hmm. Now that is something to be proud of. Yeah. You heard that, y'all. Anybody can get their masters. So, yes. Are the dreams be dreams? That's right. Yes. Uh, this. Uh, okay, I'm on time tied. This has yes. been another episode of Essay in Action, and I of Essay in Action TV show, and I am your amazing host, Angelique. Now I want to say thank you to Gwen. Thanks, Gwen. You're welcome. Hey, what's going on, guys? Izzy here. Quick interjection in the video. I just wanted to help Angelique out a little bit. Um, she wanted me to remind you to please go subscribe to her YouTube channel, The Angelique Show, where she has many, many interviews with many different self-advocates. So much fun information and such cool stuff to talk about. So please go subscribe to The Angelique Show. The link will be in the description. Thank you, guys. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Now, don't forget to use SN Action to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.